What's up, it's Dan from Closet Tours. I'm here with Gashi out in LA. Today we're gonna tour his closet, talk some fashion, and hopefully find some pieces for you to cop. All right, so Gashi, what, what inspired your love for fashion? Being a musician, mm -hmm. I, I, I always admired music videos growing up, because as growing you know, all you have is a radio and a TV. Of course. Growing up in New York, and you see, you admire the fashion that your favorite artist, musician, would be wearing. And I remember like copying Kanye a lot. Of course. And I was copying Pharrell with the Bape. I always would like wear the Evizu jeans with the with the Bape and the the jacket with the hoodie zipped up. I was I went when I went through my Pharrell clips era, and then as I graduated that era, I got into the Ralph Lauren era and I think I classic I haven't I think I've been getting left back since <laughs> <laughs> I think you've made a reference before of like David Bowie I've seen you talk about how you know not only has he influenced you in general but like the the overall concept of like always changing and yeah like on to yeah. the next thing and yeah. being ahead of things or yeah. different there's things that are always consistent yeah but everything else is changing around it right yeah. so you have your staples but then you know you'll go this way or that way depending on on the moment i always say david bowie because you know david bowie was one of those artists that would change his style so much by the time the fans showed up at the show they're wearing his old shit. I'm a departure artist. That's what I call myself, a okay. departure artist. Explain that. Everything is different. I don't like wearing the same outfit. I don't like dropping the same album. It's just who I constantly am. Constantly evolving. Constantly evolving, constantly changing. That's who I am. I think one of the most interesting things about you on a personal note is that you were homeless, yeah. right? Like living on the streets, showering mm -hmm. at the gym. Yeah. Where does fashion come into that, right? Cause like at that point you have no money, you're living yeah. on the streets. Well, first off, what were you wearing? So okay. I would sleep at the hundred store. The change of clothes that I would wear every time was always the hundreds. And you would never think I was homeless cause I would wear a new t-shirt, new pair of jeans, new jacket, hundreds, hundreds head to toe because that's what was free and that that's those are the people that were taking care of me at the mm -hmm. time. There was a picture of Kanye West buying my CD and giving me a pound. And that when that picture leaked, it motivated me so much, man. I needed that to happen at that moment. No one knew what I was going through mentally. I was off. I was really out there sleeping by these stores, jacket up and selling these CDs, man. It was a very difficult time for me. And now that I'm here, it's always good. People say, why do you always talk about it? Because I just don't want to forget. I don't want to forget because if I forget, I think I'd lose myself. People always say to me, are you, are you fearless because you came from nothing? So if you go back to nothing, you just don't care because you already came from nothing. And that's not it. I'm fearless because I can do it again and again and again. You can take all the shit away from me. And take, you'll build it right back. And I'll build it right back again. Because taste is something you can't learn. You either have it or you don't. Let's get into, let's get let's into some let's of that stuff. And I will we'll, show you. we'll give us a little well, tour of the closet, we'll is, break down some stuff, and then we'll get into specific yeah, pieces. Let's do, do that. All right, let's, we'll do that right let's now. get it. I really appreciate you guys being here yeah, today. This is just my LA home and I just moved in here. Yeah. Hopefully we do closet tour part two. And we can and do out it in New York. York. Yeah, exactly. so my first piece that I would like to share would probably be the David Bowie shirt. <clears throat> so we talk about how like you embody a lot of yes. what, who David Bowie is, is right? So yeah. tell so me about the shirt. I got the shirt in Toronto and I, I, I saw the shirt, you can flip it yeah, too. Yeah, let's turn that and the design and everything, the hand coming down from the cloud. I really like this piece. I think this piece is amazing. Crazy, and it says yeah. David Bowie on the Look side. Look at the way that streaks, dude, yeah. it's so nice. This right here is definitely something you guys can purchase. I sweat in it and I haven't <laughs> washed it. <laughs> These are three pieces that I pulled from my merch. Go, this go, is we'll a New York, New, New York, York t-shirt. Yeah, so I was signed to a label and the reason why I turned my logo into a chain 
is because I would, I, they wouldn't let me out of my deal. <laughs> and so you were uh, locked up. Yeah, I was locked up. So that's why I put the chains around the Gashi logo. That's fire. And uh, this is my face. This reminded me of The Shining, of when he busts through the door. This was the vibe I wanted my face to be on. And it's New York, and we sold out Irving Plaza what? real quick. We sold it out in like two minutes. And, um, we, and so this is designed by you. This is designed by me. Yeah, this is a shirt. is a rare, rare. I did only black and white. It's a you only only the people that were at the New York show could get the shirt. Yeah. Next line of merch will we have the next line of merch will, is will this. We out of the chains. This will, is the will first. We out of the chains. This is the new merch. <laughs> oh my so God. my new album is coming out. It's called Dirty City, and um, I created. I decided to create my own hats with this guy named Maurice from Germany. And this is dude, crazy. it's Dirty City is a pop country influenced album. And it's, it's it, we're gonna be wearing this hat. You're gonna mix New York with a little bit of the South. Yeah, so I put the Yankee logo on it with the New Era sticker on the hat. And this Great. is the new wave of my new album, Dirty City. This is, is, this is the new, <laughs> this is the new wave. Right yeah, I also, the, what makes this hat special is I was Grammy nominated this year. And I wore this hat with get this shirt. Yeah, pull that out. I wore this, this is the hat. Grammy fit. This is the Grammy fit. I wore this, this Marnie shirt with this hat. Find me something more New Yorker. Yeah. Than a dude making a country album and he has a New York logo. The Brooklyn with Cowboy. The, with the New York, with the sticker. New Era sticker on the front. <laughs> Being from New York, this is Supreme a, is like a, a brand that I always love and respect. The fact that they came up with, this is some, this is these, these are one of my favorite shoes that I've gotten recently Shoot sent to great. me with a note. Um, yeah, really. They said, Dear Gashi, you are the three eye god from Supreme. Thank you for always representing Timberland. We look forward to seeing you wear these. Wow. Shout out to uh, my boy G uh, Rodriguez and, um, you know, for always for always telling me that I am the three eye god and, and, and giving me my flowers when I wear certain things. So these these, these, are these right here, these, the black and the green ones are gonna be worn a lot this summer. <laughs> I, I usually wear super short shorts. But like, but, uh, uh, but on a specific note, like people, like people need to understand how much that means, bro. Yeah. Like, take us back, like that's Supreme. Yeah. You know, like yeah. 1994, New York. Yeah, yeah, know. it's like a big deal. Like for us being New Yorkers, like, to be able to get Supreme shipped to you and and people saying things like, hey, you know, um, you're the three I got and stuff like that, you know. From like from it's the places moment. that we've looked up to for yeah, so long. I know, yeah, I know it yeah. means a lot to you. The three eyes is a signature Gashi piece or a sneaker. Anyone, the thing is this, I always tell people, if people can't make you, if they can't make an action figure out of you, then you're not, you have no brand. If people were to make me an, as an action figure, you would need these, some dope like white jeans or some cool Carhartt pants, mm -hmm. a dope jacket or dope button up and a hat, a Yankee hat. This is a piece I really like, is the Porsche collaboration, one of the first Porsche collaboration mm -hmm. with Ame. I really think this is a really cool raincoat that I think awesome. goes super well with a lot. And you think this is a piece that we could offer to the people? Yeah, why not? Sure. I think I love it. It's super clean and whoever gets it is it going to be a lucky person. I yeah. wore this so many times and I think you should try this on too, just because. Let's do it, man. <laughs> so coming to Closet Tour Marketplace soon. Yes. You'll be able to purchase this right, yeah. right off, See, right off this link right here. Okay, <laughs> let's show it. Flex it. I appreciate you showing us the closet today. Obviously. Yes. Yes. Um, you know, we were able to sit down and talk a little bit of fashion, but I think the coolest part is like, when we go back and you guys see this video, um, you'll actually have the opportunity to buy a couple pieces of clothing right off, right out of Gashi's closet. Yeah. And you know, some pieces maybe he wore on tour or at a concert and, and we'll specify those, but um, I'm gonna try to be on him to try to get a couple extra pieces out of him. Yes. Um, I've never ever put a spotlight like this on myself as a fashion guy. You guys being one of the first people to sh set, shed light on my fashion and taste and my world. This is my world. I've never let anyone in it. So hopefully next time you come here. Next one, we'll see you in New York. <laughs> we'll see you in New York. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>